Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series. I'm Ollie Milo 8 and this is Puzzle Dimension. I was going to do a blind playthrough of this, but my initial recording failed to capture any video, so I had to play through all of the first puzzle cluster. I didn't really miss out on anything, and I'm going to play through it again. But my aim of this LP is to just show off the game, get all the achievements, because there's not that many. And just really create a relaxing atmosphere. I'm going to try and keep swearing down to a minimum, and I was pretty successful in the last recording. I don't see why I can't do it again. Let's just show off the tutorial real quickly. It's a nice little game. It's got good music to it. It's not difficult at all. You just have to, you're born and you have to collect flowers. It's as simple as that. See? That's difficult at all. Some of the levels that you're on, they get a bit... Well, at least in the first cluster, they get a bit more difficult, but... Nothing frustrating, so... just yet. And you know what? That's what puzzle games should be. You should be... With the right amount... The right amount of... Taxingness... If that's a word. With... It's just an enjoyable experience. I can't even put into words. It's got a nice, it's got nice visuals, rather retro. The whole, the ambience and the music and stuff is top notch. It's all very retroy. I found. And you know what? It's not necessarily a bad thing. Sure, some people try and make it so. It's like, oh, we're so retro. We're harking back to the good games and it feels forced. But this game sort of has. A natural feel to it. I can't quite explain why I like this game so much. I just do. It's the epitome of a epitome of a puzzle game. And I appreciate it for that. I got it in a Steam sale a while ago, I think it was in the summer. And I'd never had a chance to play it. So I figured I'd do a mostly blind playthrough for this. Now, as I said, I have played through the tutorial and the first cluster, so in the top right corner, where you see the flowers at the moment, you'll see the score that I got in the previous um, puzzles. Now, unfortunately, since I've also already played through those, and there isn't an easy way to delete Steam achievements, um, you won't be able to see me and the puzzles for the first few chapters. Well, first few puzzles rather. Know what I just said? You won't be able to see me earn the achievements for the past few puzzles. Yeah, there we go. So obviously I've already got them. But I'll show off which ones I have already. And you can judge whether or not I'm good yet at video games. Let's pass straight through, grab this one. Complete the level. Now coming up on the end of the tutorial pretty soon. And it's a pretty neat tutorial. You don't necessarily have to do it to understand how the game works. But it's fun to do it anyway. Now I actually couldn't find the gateway for this first time. I, I was rolling around everywhere trying to find it. But it's just there. So, now that tutorial's out of the way, let's play the actual game. Actually, wait, before that, oops, let's look at the progress, okay? So, I've completed the ice cluster, uh, got, done five puzzles, got a multiplayer bait, beat the tutorial, got over 250 and over 100 in one puzzle. But that doesn't mean I'm just going to go straight on to the next puzzles, nah. I'm going to do these. So the there's an achievement for this one, which I saw, which is get over 180 points on the first level. And as you can see, um, I got 179. 
gosh darn. I wonder if you have to break all the blocks to do that. This one, same similar to the last one, except you have to make sure you jump over, because otherwise you won't be able to complete it. There's no time limit to this, so you can take as long as you want. Oh, so you do get extra points for being breaking the rock. Okay, I might have to go back to the first one after these then. Okay. Now this one, you have to be extra careful. Because if you break that middle rock, well you won't be able to get up here to do these. Oh gosh darn. Whoopsie. Okay. So let's do this. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you do get more points. Okay. Maybe I just solved it faster, I don't know. Now, this one is quite tricky. In fact, I can't remember how to do it. Do you go around and work your way back? I think you do. No, you... Yeah, you do. Yep. That's how you do it. There we are. Fewer points than the last time. Okay. Ah, ice physics. Now this this part of this first cluster of game um, video rather uh, puzzles. I adored this part because it just works so well. Uh, it doesn't even have to explain it to you, but you know what happens already. It's like what Eager Act said in his sequelitis from Mega Man X. It doesn't tell you what to do, you just know what to do anyway. It's it, that that's what a puzzle game should be. You shouldn't have to know what to do for it. Or rather, you shouldn't have to be told. Hmm. I did that mistake the first time as well. Okay. You just go straight ahead. No you don't. Hmm. I have done these before as well, which is worse. There we go. And let's work our way across. Go grab that. Go down. Oh. Now as you can see, that bar gets filled up when we go over new squares. That's why we get a pixel bonus at the end of the thing, the end of the stage, because you went over all the, rather it gives you a bonus based on how many things you went over, uh, blocks. I think I've already screwed myself over. Yeah, I have. Because from here you go down. Get this bit. <coughs> Bless me. Sorry about that. <coughs> I'm trying to fight off a cold. Because apparently, um, when Britain starts to snow, the whole country comes to a standstill. I think the worst part about the snow is that we were warned about it. We were given plenty of notice, yet there were still panic buyers, roads still coming to a closure because they weren't properly gritted and whatever, and I just think that's atrocious. Because we were given plenty of warning for this. Yet we weren't prepared. I just don't understand. Um for this one, just go all the way around. Go down. Nope. Go up. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't say if I went off 
across the other one first. And then went down that one, I could have just kept going straight forward. But it doesn't matter. I'm beating all the scores I got for the previous ones. I think I will go back and do the other one. The uh, Try and see if I can get the achievement for that first one. Because it shouldn't be too hard. He says. Oopsie. Can I say me? I have to go all the way around. I think I did that last time as well. But there we go. Still be my previous score by quite a bit. And now for the final one. Now this one I had to spend a while on. And I've forgotten how I did it. Did I do this? Yeah I did. And then you go down, and grab this one, go across, go up, jump across here, and go down to the goal. And there you have it. That's the ice cluster done. Let's see if we can can't do that. What's the actual achievement? Oh, that should have a picture. Go over 190 on the first puzzle in Broken Ice. Okay, 190. No, I lost two points there. Hmm. Well, I'll come back to that one later, folks. Um, join me next time. When we'll start, jump in the fire. Until then, bye bye.